Lesson 8, 5, the tangent ratio. Studying the tangent ratio is the start of trig, and I like to say it's the big deal. You're not in Kansas anymore and all that. Um, I spent a few days now and then a few more days later on this. But to understand trig, you just have to understand that it's all about similar triangles and ratios. So, for example, we know in a 30, 60, 90 that we're looking at 4 root 3 here and 6 root 3 here. And if you say, well, what's the ratio of the side opposite 30 that would make this the opposite side over the adjacent side that would make this the adjacent side, this would be the hypotenuse. So same thing over here, hypotenuse. And if we're talking about this angle, opposite side, and adjacent side. So what's the ratio? Well, we would call that the tangent ratio. We would say the tangent of 30 degrees is opposite divided by adjacent. So that would be 4 over 4 root 3, which is 1 over root 3, which after you rationalize is root 3 over 3. Now, same thing. If you do this one, you get tangent of 30 degrees equals 6 over 6 root 3 equals 1 over root 3. And as we just showed, equals root 3 over 3. So you can see that tangent of 30 degrees, the ratio, no matter how big the triangle, is always going to be root 3 over 3. And that's the magic of trig. It's just ratios that somebody has set up all the charts for and put into your calculator, and it's actually done it a different way, but that's how it works. And it works every time. Now, this is angle B. This is angle A. So I've done it twice already in the two triangles. So why does it work in both triangles? Because we can write a ratio for both of them. Y by angle, angle. 90 degree angle plus, I should say, and the 30 degree angle. So you've got similar triangles. So this is the world's worst acronym. It's the only one we got. Sine equals opposite over hypotenuse. And that's just the definition. There's no magic. You have to memorize it. Cosine equals adjacent over hypotenuse. We'll talk about those next lesson. And then the one we're doing today. Tangent equals opposite over adjacent. So to do this in a calculator, I have a textbook with a <clears throat> with a chart in it, but I don't recommend it. So you need to just write your ratio. Now look at 53, what's opposite? And a lot of people write it in early. And what's adjacent? Right there. Source of confusion. A lot of people say, well, why isn't this adjacent? Well, that's because it's the hypotenuse. Can't be hypotenuse and adjacent. It's just hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is always hypotenuse. So we write our ratio. Tangent of 53 equals x over 24. And then we solve 24 times tangent of 53 equals x. And then we need a calculator to finish that off. I'll come back and solve this in a moment. Actually, it might not be a bad idea to have a calculator open. Sorry this takes so long. And it's still got a ways to go. And that should do it. So whenever we use the calculator, first thing you do is 
check that the mode is set to degrees up here, which it is. So I'll get out of that. And we go back here, and I said it's 24 times tangent of 53 degrees. So 24 times tangent, that's the button right there, of 53, and it's automatically in degrees. And we get 31.8. Where you round, it's up to you. For some crazy reason, I always go to the first, to the tenth. So over here, we're doing tangent today, so I'm going to write tangent of 37 degrees. I'd like you to get a little bit faster at this. Opposite is 26, adjacent is y. Do some algebra and you get y equals 26 divided by tangent of 37. So 26 divided by tangent of 37. And you have 34.5. That's how you do tangent. There's one other trick to show. And it's on these problems. You can pick either one. Let's do the one that's shown. So in this case, A. Tangent of A equals opposite 40 over 34. Now we've got the A, I like to call it inside the tangent. To get it out, we need to do the opposite operation. And the opposite operation is tangent to negative first, or the inverse of tangent. Tangent to negative first times tangent of A. And whatever we do to one side, we have to do the other. These will cancel out, just leaving A. To do it on a calculator, we hit second tangent, 40 divided by 34. We get 49.6 degrees. So what that's saying is that this angle is 49.6 degrees. And we look at this one, we'd say, well, that's 40.4 degrees, because they all have to add up to 180, these two have to add up to 90, so on and so on. So you might want to try this one on your own first. I'll get you started. It's going to be tangent of B. And now I'll do it. 10 over 20. As we just pointed out. Tangent of negative first. 10 over 20. In case you missed it. Second. Tangent. Gives it that little negative one up there. 10 divided by 20. 26.6. This angle is 26.6 degrees. This one, I'll try and do my head, 63.4 degrees. And if you think about this, you could do this too. Call this C. You could say tangent of C equals 20 over 10. And C equals tangent to the negative first of 20 over 10, which equals... Sixty four point four degrees. Looks like I did my math a little bit wrong. No, I did it right. I wrote it down wrong. So trig confusing, higher level math, definitely new, definitely different, freaks a lot of people out, but really not that challenging once you figure out opposite adjacent hypotenuse. Definitely have a calculator handy and practice a lot. Once you get good at it, it makes your life a lot easier. The other nice thing is I just showed is there's lots of different ways to do the problems. Good luck.